<laughs> Hi. Hello, welcome to Chi Talk. This is Deborah Lin. How are you all? Um, welcome again. So today in Chi Talk, we are going to talk about moving of yin and yang. This is very much a, a signature movement developed by Master Lin, and it's very signature for Spring Force Qigong. When people are talking about Spring Force Qigong movements, people naturally go to moving of yin and yang. So that's how much it is significant to Spring Force Qigong. Now I'm going to have uh, going to talk about today's uh, agenda. What we are going to talk about is the uh, the objectives for today is for number one, why moving of yin and yang is so effective in healing the body. Secondly, how to practice breakdown of the movement and detail. So that's what I'm going to explain, and then. The number three is a guided practice. So we are going to guide it. I'm going to guide you into this practice and practice moving of yin in and yang in the most effective way. Okay. Now this is me uh, and my family. So I am. Uh, I my name is Deborah Lin again. The uh, uh, I having I'm I have this privilege of serving Spring Forward Qigong community as a Spring Forward Qigong's CEO right now. And it's, you know, like I said, it's such a privilege. When I come in, Spring Forward, Spring Forward Qigong has thousands and thousands of students. And many of thousands, these thousand students have helped themselves heal from spring, from the, their, their uh, uh, challenges physically and mentally uh, and spiritually with Spring Forward Qigong. And that is why, and actually I am one of them, and that is when I uh, step into this position, it's such a privilege for people to come to me and then uh, telling me how much Spring Forward Qigong helped them. So this is my family and uh, uh, Master Lin and uh, our two children together. Um, and uh, I wanna tell you about my healing story. I actually grew up in Taiwan and uh, uh, when I was born, I was, um, this big and now I have asthma from the very day one. So it was a child very hard to, to raise, you know, challenge wise, uh, health challenge wise. And, um, you know, for my, uh, into, in my twenties, uh, I actually in and out of hospital a lot. Uh, the earliest memory I have for, with, uh, with my childhood is that my parents actually were carrying me in the arms like this and into the hospital or into the doctor's clinic uh, in the middle of the night, knocking on the doctor's door to, to find help uh, because of the asthma uh, situation that's uncontrollable. And then up to uh, I'm, when I was um, uh, uh, in my mid thirties, I started to find Spring Forest Chigo. And um, uh, my friend referred me to Spring Forest Chigo and started to practice. Uh, taking level one and level two live class. And I, uh, uh, I took this class from Master Lin, these two classes from Master Lin in, it, oh, in a weekend. And uh, I went home and practice. Amazing things happened from there. In less than 100 days, I actually experienced no more asthma attack. And then my asthma, uh, my asthma attack has been gone since then. So that is um, uh, more than 14 years ago. So that's in 2007, that, uh, 2007, 2006, when that's when I started uh, Spring Forest Qigong. Uh, so that is uh, a healing story for me. So I'm hooked. I was hooked for a very long time until, and I actually uh, I step into this position of serving Spring Forest Qigong community. Um, so you guys are all practicing uh, some Spring Forest Qigong movements. Now you have, uh, many of you have practiced Spring Forest Qigong every day on Facebook, uh, every, every morning to following our teachers to practice Spring Forest Qigong. One of this movement I wanted to talk about, moving of yin and yang, is that uh, why is it so effective? The first thing we are, we are going to talk about. Now, why moving of yin and yang is so effective in healing? That's specifically what we are going to talk about. Now, 
this one image I want you to see. This is a water wheel. So if you talk, if you think about this, uh, water stagnant, and then there's a water wheel comes in. So the water start to move. More the water move, the water wheel move more. Though this water wheel moving in a circular motion. Because of this movement, the water was able to get into everywhere, and then it eventually nurtured the land. We can grow crops. We can feed our family. Water will also do many of things, help us move things that human strength is not possible, and uh, um, uh, also generate electricity. There's many, many useful functions from the water wheel. So, but it's all generated from this movement. It's the movement. Okay. Now, our body's energy, our chi, if we don't do this specific patterns of movement, the energy stagnant. Just like the water is stagnant, there isn't a, um, if the water is stagnant, there isn't any movement. The water becomes uh, a dead stale and eventually gets stinky. And then, the, you know, it's, it's not live. So this water wheel started helping this water to move, which generates energy. And that exactly is what moving of yin and yang is to do, do to our body. So that by doing this movement, our body's energy started to move, just like the water wheel. So if you look at the water wheel again, I'm going to show you next picture. You know, if you look at the water wheel again, this water wheel that has specific like paddles, sometimes they look like cups. You know, it's like our hands are just like that. Our hands are just like this water wheel pedals to move our body's energy, to move the chi up and down in a circular motion in our body. So that is why moving of yin and yang is so powerful because it started to move your energy. Once the energy started to moving, your chi started moving, the all kinds of things start to happen. So it's no longer a stagnant world. okay pretty straightforward so you know if i explain it to you why moving of yin and yang is so powerful it is from the moving of the energy okay it is the movement it's not a paddle it's not about the water it's about the movement so from that movement you know because the movement, this specific movement, is moving in a specific pattern. And this pattern actually is have promoting many things. For, for instance, it, uh, it, it promotes constant flow of qi. Think about a water wheel again. If all it goes around and round and round, it's the flow of the qi, the flow of the water, the flow of a light force. Yes? Does it have to go in one direction? Yes. The question I have in my uh, audience uh, in, in the room, which is Ron, Jackie, and Master Lin, these are my audience in, the, in this live talk. Um, the question was, does it have to move in a specific direction? Yes, it does. Now think about small universe. Small university, you have the chi, you're moving the chi from the back of the spine up to the, uh, through the torso and up to the head and flow and then back down from the center of the spine, I mean, center of the torso. And then that become a circle as well that's moving in the elliptical way as well. Moving of yin and yang is actually very similar to that. And that's in the direction that we need to move. Okay, so um, so th that promotes a constant flow of chi when we do this specific uh, movement in a specific pattern. That is why masculine always say specific pattern is very important. 
Now, another thing is balance of the body's chi. The body's chi, you know, when we talk about, it's not about the water. It's not about how much water you bring in, how much water you, you flow. It's the balance. When the wheel started to turning, it has that momentum. The water it picked up every time is the same, and the water that brings down every time is the same. So that's the specific movement that is balancing your body's chi. Okay, and the third uh, uh, the benefit is connection to your body. Now, when we are practicing spring forward qigong movements, the the specific sequence that move from your body, from your mind to your body, are we are trying to connect. You are, because of this energy, we are connecting you to your body's energy. So your body's chi. Okay. Now, we can, we'll, I will explain every one of them in the detail when I explain to you the details of the moving of yin and yang. How do we do it? Now, the last thing is merging with your chi. Specifically, once your energy, once your chi start to move, you are merging with your chi. Chi has intelligence. Like Maslin always say, chi in our body has its own intelligence. It knows what to do. So you are working to merge with your chi. Your chi help you whatever you want your chi help you to achieve. Okay. Now I want to talk about a breakdown of the movement. Now from here, I can actually explain more and the, uh, these application and the benefit of why you practice this. Okay. So very importantly, first thing is the hand. So the hand is uh, the guiding the, you know, like pedal, the pedal or the, or the, or the cup uh, or the container of the water wheel that, that consistently move the energy. That is why the hands are moving in a lipstickle way, just like a water wheel. Now, I want you to uh, uh, be aware, you are probably looking at me as in a mirrored image. So my right hand might be your left hand or your right hand side. So it may not be straightforward to you. So you have to be aware of your own right hand and left hand. Now look at me for my right hand and left hand. Okay. So your hands are fingers slightly open, but it's not straight like this. That's, you know, that's uh, 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 stretched out. Instead, it's soft like this. It's soft, you know, if you do a palm face right here, and then hold your hold your top of the head like a ball. Try that. And then keep that shape. Keep that shape. So that is where your hand should feel and should be forming. Okay. So now, very naturally, very slightly, you touch your forehead like this. Do a palm face. Not like that. It's that soft and natural. Soft and natural, bring that, that it's the forming of the hand and that is going to be your water wheel pedal. Okay. Now, when you are bending your elbow, you are, this movement is guided with the elbow. So up and down, you actually guide it with your elbow. So when you are doing these movements up and down, you're guiding with your elbow. Your hands are, you know, like I said, the curve of your palm is the curve of your forehead to your head like that. Okay. Fingers naturally open. When you have fingers closed like this, you don't actually, you know, you, you are less sensitive to your chi. So open it up like this. Okay. So that's the hands. How are you going to do hands with the, with this practice? Now, next thing is the torso. The torso Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, the torso is what we is the uh, the key of this movement. Visualizing there is a uh, the column of the light in the center of your torso. Okay, 
there's a column of the light in the center of your torso, which your hand will guiding and moving the energy up and down like that. Okay. That's the torso that nurtures the light that nurtures your whole body, the, your internal organs, which is all connected um, from en one energy to the other. Okay. And the knees, you are going to, uh, I'm going to look at this picture. The knees is going to be soft. You are bending your knees soft, like um, uh, you're not locking your knees. So it's not straight, but it's th instead you are opening your feet a, a tiny bit to stabilize yourself. And then knees are soft, slightly bent but not very, not very, uh, uh, you know, like squatting, not very low. Slightly bent is just, would just do the magic. That's, it's going to help with your energy, your chi movements. Okay. So that's the knees. So that's how, uh, this, these are the uh, key movements I want you to uh, uh, be aware of. Okay. Now, my audience have questions? What if I can't move my arms in the way that you're describing and one arm has an injury? What do I do? Okay. Thank you. The question is, what if you can't move your, you know, what if I can't move my arms in the way I'm describing? And the naming, uh, what if the, you know, I have injury in one arm and I can only do one arm? Is that? Yes. Okay. So that means use your visualization. You can definitely do that. Use your visualization to move your hand. Maybe you're just moving one hand, but think and visualize you, you the other hand is also moving up and down like that. So when we are doing this movement, have your hands open like that. I'm going to do it sideways just so you can kind of see how that work. Okay. Then you will put your hand, right hand on the, on the upper chest and the lower hand on the uh, uh, your abdominal area. And the upper hand will move outward and lower hand move inward in an up and down direction. And then you switch to move the outer hand again outward, lower hand upward and inward. Again, outer hand moving down and lower hand moving up. So this is the elliptical way that we are moving, much like a water wheel moving your chi, moving your water, moving the water, you know, simple as if you think about your water, your chi just like water, it, you know, this is a, a way of your hand suggests that your energy to move, not like the, uh, it's exactly like the water. So your body's energy, your chi is not stagnant. You know, you need to move. And this specific movements, actually helps and suggests your energy to move in this certain way. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to have you uh, uh, start to do this with me. So I'm going to have you stand up and practice with me. All right. Okay. What if I cannot stand in doing it? You can't stand in doing it. There's a question about what if we can't, what if I can't do this movement standing? That's a very good question. Thank you. Uh, if you can't stand, uh, Supreme Force Qigong is about good, better, best. When you move your energy, if, when you move your chi, that is good. When you do it right, doing it even better, that's good, better, best. So if you can't stand up doing it this, you can sit down or lying down and then use your visualization. Visualize your hands are moving. Or, you know, visualize, even if you are standing down, visualizing you are, you are uh, if you are lying down, visualize you're standing up and then still moving, you are uh, doing this movement. You get the same benefits. It's good, better, best. Yes? And how is it, what, what is the benefit of standing? Okay. Rather than sitting. What is oh. Okay, the question is, what is the benefit of standing? Now, as a Qigong practitioner, I want you always think to do the best, okay? 
you wanted to practice the best so you get the whole benefit. When we're doing the spring forward qigong movements, we're starting from the beginning of the universe and then the forming of the universe. Eventually we move down to, eventually we start the uh, moving of yin and yang. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to uh, correct myself. When we start, we, we will start with beginning of the universe and then forming of the yin and yang. From forming of yin and yang, we started to do moving of yin and yang. Okay, so with that, you are standing up. Your, your feet are on the ground. So you're actually growing your feet, growing roots into the ground. From your feet into the ground, you're standing in between the earth and the sky, the, the heaven, if you would. So that's the um, yin and yang. So you are in between the yin and yang. So standing and practice, you do have the benefit of inside of yin and yang. Okay? And of course, these physical movements strengthen your body, strengthen your uh, 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 physical body. Uh, and that's how energy, how, how qi is moving as well. Okay? Questions more? Okay. All right. So they can't stop practicing. <laughs> so we are going to stop practicing right now. Now, uh, I want you all standing up. Yes, you're sitting on a chair. Yes, so you're riding on the bed. Stand up, stand up. Okay, so stand up and then we will practice. So first we, you're going to part your feet apart and then we're going to start with some bouncing. Okay, bouncing from your knee, bouncing from your knee, and then the rest of your body receive this vibration from the bouncing. So focus on your knee. Put your thinking, your E, which loosely translates as consciousness or your focus, put that on your knee. Your knee is like a spring and it's bouncing up and down. And the rest of your body just kind of receiving this, uh, this vibration. Just like you throw a rock into a pond, it has the ribble. The knee is where the spot, the rock falling, and the rest of the body just like the ribble. Just let it ribble out. Stand up and practice uh, bouncing a little bit. You feel great afterwards. You move, you're moving your cheese right now, starting right now. Wonderful. Bouncing a little more. And then we can bring our hands up. Soften your knee again. Continue to bounce. Now pay attention to your wrist. Your wrist is soft. So, you know, do not consciously float, uh, kind of flap your hands, wrist, just let it go, let it go. And the knee, the vibration you are bouncing actually will guide the hand to, to, uh, to, to uh, uh, flap, all right? <laughs> so let's do that, bouncing a little bit and let the hands go. You know, when your hands are above your head, you start noticing that your body, your torso, actually start generate heat. That feel great. Okay, slowly bring it down, continue to bounce. Your knees continue to bounce. Now that's slightly uh, uh, swing back and forth, left and right. Continue to bounce from your knees, left and right, and let your arms go wherever the vibration takes you. Okay, very good. Now slowly stop. Where you're standing is perfect. It's a perfect place that where you're standing right now. So we are going to practice Qigong. The first thing is put a smile on your face. Smile. Start my internal love engine. All right. So now you're going to put your hands on the side of your body. Draw your chin back a little bit. And then drop your shoulders 
Open and extending your shoulder a little bit and drop your shoulder down. Extend your arm, lengthen. Lengthen your arms. Think that your, your feet are growing roots into the ground. So you're very stable. This is beginning of the universe. The beginning of the universe, you're gonna take, we're gonna stop here for a few seconds. You are going to, uh, to, to uh, uh, put awareness back into your body. Scan yourself from the, from the, top, from the top of the head to the bottom of the, of the feet. Your hands are naturally down. Your fingers are relaxed. Deep breathing a little bit. Inhale deeply into your uh, uh, stomach and exhale. Feel your whole body. This is energy breathing a little bit. Uh, practice a little bit energy breathing. Breathing in, collect, collect all the energy from the universe into your body and collect them in your lower dantian. Exhale that we will push out all the energies that you know that we don't need. We only want the, the ones that help us. There's no good or bad. It's that our body, what our body needs. So we are inhaling in the energy that will help us to have a better health and a better life. You can close your eyes if you like. Deep breathing for a couple more times. In and out. Feel your body. Do you feel the tingly feelings in your fingers? That's where your chi comes. Now pay attention with your thoughts. Where are your E? Your, the E means the, uh, the, the, your focus, where you were uh, uh, consciousness, bring it in back to you. It might be thinking about something about your plant, about your computer, about you know someone else. Bring that back to you. This is the moment that you are going to practice Qigong with yourself. This is your time. So bring that E back to you. This is beginning of the universe. From here, we are going to start with the forming of yin and yang. Now bring your right hand, bend your elbow a little bit up to your chest. And left hand, be where your belly button, okay? Your hands are pretty much in the same, vertically in the same space. Okay? Not like this. Not like this. Your hands are in line vertically. All right? Very good. Now, remember, still remember your smile on your face, right? Very good. Now, visualize there is a column of light in the middle of your body. In the middle of your body, not, not like picture I show you, there's a, a light in front, of a, in front of the body, but it's actually inside, along your torso. The entire body lights up. It's in the light. Put yourself in the light. The column of the light is in your torso. That's going to nurture you. Don't rush, don't rush. Let's pause in this moment, uh, in this moment. Think about your knee. Now put attention to your knee. Is it stretched, that locked? Now I want you to soften that. Soften your knee and then you know, slightly bend if you want to. Now the last thing is put your pelvis, your hip, push it inward push kind of forward, so your body is in alignment, okay? Very good. Now I want you to start to think about this happiness. 
the happiness in your life. You are with yourself. You are practicing your Qigong. Bring this happiness energy present at this place, this time, with us. Okay. Now we start to move. Now hands, you remember hands are slightly stretched like that. This is where the forming of the shape that you should be holding is that both hands are like that, okay? I, I know, do you, do you realize that your body want to move now? Does your hands want to move? Do it slow, okay? Let it go. It will start moving just like the water wheel up and down. Inner hands are moving upward and outer hand are moving downward and then it is an elliptical, it's making a circle just like the water wheel. Now many advanced spring forward Qigong practitioners started to notice that their hand, when they're moving, when they move their hands up and down, their hands are like a scoop. The like scoop that uh, it no longer just holding it, you know, like a, uh, uh, a way that's straight like that. It's more like a scoop. You are scooping that water on the water wheel up and down. The outer hand is pushing the water down. Inner hand uh, scooping the water up, just like the water wheel. Your hand just like the flaps of the water wheel or the cups of the water wheel. Now there is a water wheel inside to move the water, the energy. What is the best time to practice this? Uh, I mean, the best um, uh, duration when we practice this in a circle, the whole, you know, in, in the whole circle should be done in about 20 seconds. So one minute you will have about three uh, complete circle like this. Slower the better. Then when your hands are moving, slower the better. It's slower so you are aware of your energy. If you're aware of your chi, where's your chi? How does it feel to you? Feel your hands, that tingly, tingly, numbing, or expanding soreness. Is it tickles? Is it cold? Is it hot? Very good. Maslin designed this movement as one of the uh, physical movement in the uh, uh, five element self heating course. And then this is also the uh, uh, Spring Forward Qigong level one. Very quickly to move your chi. Just like a water wheel, right away it moves the water so the water is no longer stagnant. Your chi is no longer stagnant. Moving in this specific moment. Very good. So the best time to, uh, for how long to practice is about, you know, uh, at least five minutes. If you need, if you have time to practice longer is the best. It's good, better, best. All right. Very good. So when this, this movement come to an end, for women, for women, your hands, your, your right hand is inside of your torso, inside of the, this elliptical, and then the left hand is outside. And they were sort of overlapping, but not touching each other, uh, you know, um, outside of your your uh, uh, torso, just like this. 
moving a little bit, just like that. It's on your belly button, but the hands are not touching each other. For a woman, your right hand is inside and left hand is outside. For man, it's exactly the opposite. Your left hand inside and the, and the right hand outside. Now this, you know, as you know, this is in the, in the five element um, movement. This moving of yin and yang leads to the breeding of the yin and yang. And there's a reason for that. Just think of at this moment, we only practice a few minutes, but how much energy, how much chi you have felt, how much chi you have gathered right now. So naturally move that into the beginning of the universe. Oh, I'm sorry, the breathing of the universe. Excellent. Feel the energy a little bit. Today we are going to practice only one movement, but then, so this is a moving of yin and yang. Good? Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to the, uh, into the harvesting of the energy, which is the part that you actually gather and then collect this and the, this chi that you already gathered into you. And uh, because you, I, I believe you'll know, know that part, my, uh, my objective today is to explain uh, moving of yin and yang and then guiding you the correct practice, the best practice. There should not be correct way, it's the best way. So practice this movement uh, is the, uh, uh, for good, better, best. If you can't do it standing like we do, like we normally do, you can sit down or lying down and still doing that. Well, even if you only have uh, a limited mobilities that most of the time we will bring our hands up and down to the head, to the top of the head and the bottom of the torso when we're doing this movement. But you can, if you have a very limited mobility, even just a little bit is good. It's good, better, best. Okay, thank you. Your questions? Um, yes, I really felt the chi transitioning from moving of the yin and yang to the breathing. And we did this for a very short period of time. Is that because of the power of practicing together? The power of practicing together. So the question from uh, one of my audience is the uh, uh, when we practice this moving of yin and yang, very naturally just wanted to start the uh, uh, breeding of the universe. So that, you know, and then is it a benefit to practice with each other, with, with more people? Absolutely. That is why Spring Forge Master has been saying practice with people, with your community, that uh, you will enhance the entire chi field. The energy field uh, that's you know in your you know, that you achieve will cover. So this is actually making even higher vibration that way when you are uh, work when you are practicing with others. And that's why we have Spring for Qigong every day. Right now, Spring for Qigong every day is being included in the healing circle. So every morning, you are going to practice with one of our teacher online in uh, over Zoom that uh, uh, with the full session of the five element self-healing movements. So it's in a, it's a full session and from Monday to Saturday uh, every day that you are, you know, you can do that. It's with the uh, Healing Circle uh, subscription right now. So, you, you know, uh, practice this. Every day we still get a ton and tons of uh, uh, requests and then uh, also comments from all over the world, how much Spring for Qigong have helped them in healing their body and healing their uh, 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 mind and uh, uh, spiritually and physically. And uh, it's very much a privilege to be here. And then um, I encourage you to practice more and more. Yes? So I feel the chi in my hand, but I cannot feel the chi in my body. Do I still get the same benefit? Sure. I have a question from my audience here. Uh, I feel chi in my hands, but I don't feel that in my body. Does, do I still get the same benefit? Now, if you feel the chi in your hand, that's already in your body. 
you already feel cheap. Maybe your hand, you know, your hands are more sensitive, so you felt it more. It's stronger. It's it's a it's a stronger feeling for you, but it's in your body. Your body is one, so you already feel that in your body. Same thing happens in your in your torso or any other area as well. You just feel that stronger in your hand. So that's the you know that's the reason hands are the number one that we want people to focus when they first come into qigong, because you can easily feel uh, this qi in your hand. Uh, by moving uh, this specific movement in this specific patterns. So it's you get the same benefit because the hand's your body. The hand is your body, so you already feel it in your body. Your cheetah are moving. Good? So th that's what I have today, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to Chi Talk. Next, next month, Chi Talk is free for everybody. And it's streaming live on our website and as well as uh, Facebook um, and YouTube. Next month, I think it's Katrina, our master, Chigo master, Katrina Toby, will be speaking to us. And uh, I hope you're all staying well. And join, our, join us in the Spring for Qigong every day. I look forward to see you next time. Thank you so much.